Sure, cloth diapers are great for a six-month-old baby, but I think it's a personal decision which comes down to convenience, affordability, and what you think is, suits your baby the best. So if you have the time and energy and you're able to put in the effort, cloth is great. Otherwise, I think there are great disposable diapers also available in the market. And I don't think it's too much to worry about. Very soon, the child will grow out of this phase as it is. Three tips to stay motivated in life. Number one, try and innovate and find fun aspects of what you do in your job, in your life. Second, make time for yourself, whether it is for fitness, whether it's to pursue a hobby, whether it's for relaxation and grooming, find time for yourself. And third, develop good role models. Find people who you feel inspired by and who push you to give that extra little to whatever you're doing. Who is my inspiration? I think first of all, all of you are my inspiration. When I get comments from you, when you guys share my videos and you write into me on my DMs telling me that what I say matters to you and is helping in your life, that's a huge motivation. Of course, for me, I think a lot of my energies are derived from my own children. The, uh, you know, when I spend time with them, do activities with them, it's a learning process for me as well. And I think sharing my experiences with you as far as GSP is concerned is a huge motivator for me. Your baby is 20 months old and this is the age where the sense of identity starts getting exerted. So what you see as stubbornness is actually a toddler being formed from a baby who didn't know how to respond. So this is the time to help your child uh, make choices and enable the sense of identity and freedom to develop. Don't worry about it. Yes, I am working full time as I raise my two children. They're 10 and 5 years old as you know, I keep sharing on my handle. Um, I have never differentiated between my work and my children. For me, all three are equally important. Of course, there are days when my children need more time and attention from me or there are days th that work needs more attention. But overall, all three go hand in hand and I never choose between them. I can understand it's very hard to go through a separation physically, mentally, spiritually. Uh, it's a huge transition. But I think your child is probably the ray of hope for you to be positive, optimistic. And, you know, keep remembering that your child's happiness lies in watching you happy. So try to focus and channelize your energy on your child, do activities with the child, spend time with your child. And, uh, you know, wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. That's such a heartfelt comment and you really made my day. Uh, I'm also extremely grateful for my childhood, uh, for the upbringing my father and mother gave to me. And yes, a million thank yous every day from my heart to my parents as well. <music>